got a service call here for one of these outside ice merchandisers and uh, I can already kind of see I've got my sensors in here just to check the supply and the return uh, I could see a fan is out though so that's probably culprit number one now let's check it out I took off the cover condenser coils pretty dirty I'm gonna probably blow it out with CO2 and, and uh, coil cleaner uh, and I'll just blow out the rest too just to kind of clean it out but found culprit number two I just blew it out with CO2 and made the biggest dust cloud. <clears throat> Still got to clean the coil with like coil cleaner. Probably put a little bit of water in there. Um, it's pretty dirty. But yeah, it made the biggest dust cloud and all the customers were look, giving me dirty looks. <laughs> it is what it is. I had to drop the evaporator coil so that way I could access these, these nuts back here. Oh shit, right here. Also this motor doesn't spin. It does, but it's very tight supposed to spin a little bit more freely than that it's very tight look at the spin on the new motor it spins a lot more now you guys see the difference between both of these motors this is the OEM this is the aftermarket I'm gonna have to snip a little bit off this shaft got the new motor installed had to put in new plugs so I'm gonna tape these up right now but I'm gonna put it together real quick and then I'm gonna see if it spins the right way, the rotation. This doesn't give me like an actual rotation anywhere. So I'm gonna run it. But if it's not uh, the right rotation, basically you could take it apart, these screws, take it all apart and then flip it upside down. And then it'll spin that direction. So uh, let's turn it on, check it out. All right, we got the new fans in. I do this test with the plastic bag to see if they're both going in the same rotation. It's sucking in, it's sucking in. So they're both going the right direction. This one's the one that was working originally. And then this is the one that I just changed. This is why I love my smart probes. I got them on the supply and the return of that EVAP coil. And you can see right here, we got about a nine degree split, 12 degree supply, 21 degree return, close to a pretty much 10 degree split across that coil, which is really good. And um, yeah, we're down to temp and we're good to go. On to the next one, boys. Hey, just want to say thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. You know, I'm still learning every day. You know, I've, even though I've been in the trade about 15 years, you still learn things every single day. I never claim to be the best. So I really appreciate you guys. And if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll take you guys on to the next one. Peace.